love him or hate him, Lil Pump is one of the most recognizable names in SoundCloud mumble rap. He has racked up millions of streams in the last few years and just a mere 20 years old. Although he may not be considered the greatest rapper of all time or even anywhere near close to it, his fans love his catchy beats and tracks that are easy to sing along to. Lil Pump, birth name Gazzy Garcia, was born in Miami, Florida in the year 2000 and is of Colombian descent. Pump's rap career began when Smoke Perp produced a track and asked him to freestyle over it. The single was independently released in 2016 on the music streaming website SoundCloud as his debut single, Lil Pump. He quickly followed the song with singles Elementary, Ignorant, Gang Shit, and Drumstick, each garnering over 3 million streams. The success of his tracks on SoundCloud earned him the recognition amongst South Florida underground rap scene members, in a style known as SoundCloud Rap. He co-headlined the No Jumper Tour in 2016 and also performed at the Rolling Loud Festival. So if he's not exactly talented, how did Lil Pump become so famous? SoundCloud Rap is more or less defined as incoherent. Mumble Rap is full of, you guessed it, mumbling. The genre exploded in the last decade or so, but receives mixed reviews from music critics and rap fans alike. Lil Pump is no exception. His first hit single, Gucci Game, was incredibly popular and amassed over 1 billion views since the track dropped in 2017. With lyrics like Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang, Spin 3 Racks on a New Chain, Pump wasn't exactly writing Grammy-worthy music. Even the YouTube comment section for Gucci Game proves the whole world agrees Pump's music is brainless. His follow-up hit, Esketed, followed a similar theme theme with lyrics like, only where designer is get it, is get it, hopping out the wrath is get it, with lyricists like J. Cole, Kendrick Lamar, and Kanye still at the forefront of modern rap, there was just no room for Lil Pump to squeeze in and dominate the charts, not with music like this at least. Aside from his childish mumble tracks with spastic, thoughtless lyrics, Lil Pump had a social media and IRL presence that garnered a lot of attention, mostly negative. A YouTube search of his antics will yield you hundreds of compilation videos of his shenanigans, anywhere from starting fights in the street to messing with store security or talking smack on Instagram Live. What's worse than his immature behavior? Lil Pump has been caught fake flexing on a number of occasions, most notably when he was caught red-handed at a California jewelry store, Paris Funk, a shop infamous for selling fake diamonds and gold. You can act a fool all you want, but you'll never be taken seriously in hip-hop if you rock fake jewelry and don't own up to it. Embarrassingly though, when fans spotted Lil Pump outside the store, he actually squatted down behind a display of necklaces and tried to hide from the camera. It was plain to see his bright pink hair through the window and he was never able to live down this embarrassing mishap. He has also been known to start fights at his own concerts as well. Lil Pump was singing Boss while a fan threw something at his face. He then got mad at them and him and his entourage got into a physical battle with the enraged fans. They then got thrown out and the show ended. In quite possibly the most embarrassing moment of his so-called career, Lil Pump performed at the Donald Trump rally in support of his presidential campaign. He told Trump he appreciated everything that he did for the country and by spewing out the hate-laced MAGA 2020, Lil Pump sealed the nail in the coffin for his career forever. It turns out Lil Pump was never famous for really making good music. He wasn't famous for his fashion sense, personality, or good looks. Every now and then a celebrity comes along and steals our attention simply because we can't look away. Lil Pump is just one of those artists who is drawn to drama, always trolling, and knows how to make a headline better than he knows how to make a song. It's clear to understand the rise and fall of Lil Pump when you look at his career in the light. The more fascinated we were by the dumpster fire of his so-called career, the quicker and more intensely we consumed his songs and videos. Then, as we got a closer look at the mess of a person behind the musical act, Pump swiftly fell from grace as expected. The most we can even hope for is another catchy SoundCloud anthem, but it seems for him that ship has sailed. 